Hello everyone, welcome back for another cleaning video on my channel. We're going to be getting some cleaning done in the master bedroom, bathroom, and downstairs in the kitchen. Just doing a house reset. This is all of the cleaning I managed to fit in during our puppy napping. If you didn't know, I ended up getting a little black lab puppy. His name is Yoshi and I've got two little boys ages four and five and they are definitely excited and they've been having a lot of fun with the puppy. He is very new. We've now had him for one full week and he is not sleeping great at night and he's also a bit nippy so we're we're slowly working on potty training and all of the things and it has been a lot of fun but definitely a transition for the family. But I didn't have a lot of time to get cleaning done this week. I usually put out a video that's about 30 minutes long which means that usually for a 30 minute video I have three or more hours of footage to edit and cut down to make it into 30 minutes. This video is just over 20 minutes and it definitely, it was just one of those weeks where I had just a very limited amount of time to clean. So I didn't do as much cleaning as I normally do in a week and I'll definitely have to do a catch up video soon. Here I'm just changing out our sheets. I actually ordered these sheets off of Amazon. They were pretty cheap. I had looked at Costco. That's where our old sheets were from. We had a microfiber blue set of sheets. It was like florals and they were really nice. We liked them, but my husband is kind of a hot sleeper. So am I. I don't really like being too hot in my bed and I wasn't a huge fan of the microfiber um, just for during sleep time. And these are a lot more cooling. I originally looked at some sheets at Costco and some of the prices can actually be pretty expensive for some cooling sheets and I decided to just give these a try and I'm really happy I did because both of them came and there were some reviews that said that they ripped but our, mine have held up through a couple washings now and it's so nice to have extra sheets. Here I'm just unboxing what I thought was going to be a great addition to our nightstands. These Our nightstands are actually just four drawer dressers from Ikea and they usually come with a glass top that you can purchase separately to protect the mom dresser. We have it on our other dresser and we love it a lot but it came in the mail and it's white not clear and I looked on my order form and it was definitely clear so I'm not really sure why I ended up with two white glass tops. I was going to put it on the top of these nightstands. As you can see there's already some damage on them and I really just wanted to prolong them. I know they're really cheap but I do like just making things last. As you can see, this is the glass top I was talking about. This is the long version that can sit on one of their long dressers. I actually put two of the four drawers together to make one long one, and it's really held up and preserved these night these little dressers for me. And I was really hoping to get some matching ones for the nightstand, but it didn't work out. And unfortunately, Ikea is like a couple hours away from me, so it's not a fun trip to make to return them. Now we're going to move on to a little bit of vacuuming. My room hadn't been vacuumed in a little while. I have been on and off vacuuming the playroom and the stairs just because those get dirty a little bit faster, but I hadn't gotten around to my room in a week and so it had a lot of hair and debris in it, especially when you're going in and out potty training. It's shocking how much dirt and debris gets tracked in even if you take your shoes off every single time with a dog. Before we had the dog, our floors, like I would mop and they would get dirty, especially with the vac mop if I didn't vacuum beforehand. But usually with a mop and bucket, if I mopped we weekly, it the water wasn't actually that dirty. But this is my first experience where I used a mop and bucket and the water was super gross. So it's definitely going to take a little bit of getting used to and I'm going to have to mop a little more often in our house. So that'll be definitely interesting for us. I think with just going in and out of the house more often with potty training, I mean, we're going in and out every, sometimes within an hour, a few times. So we're just trying to get him used to going and he can't hold it for very long and he can pee when he's excited. So we're just kind of trying to catch him in the act if he's inside and taking him out as much as possible. Those black chairs are temporarily in our master bedroom. If you have been around for a while, they actually used to be in our living room. And we just moved them up here so that we could make room for a dog bed. And we kind of removed most of our area rugs in our lower floor just so that we didn't have to worry about puppy training and accidents on them. 
You guys will have to let me know if you think a sitting area in our master bedroom would look nice. The only thing I'm worried about is buying unnecessary furniture that we'll never use because I just don't see us ever sitting up here. It's on our upper floor really far away from everyone and I just don't see us sitting in a sitting area and I'm not sure what to do with that long bare wall. So if you guys have any ideas, please let me know. We're going to continue on and vacuum our closet and then go into our bathroom. And these are also some areas I've neglected. This bathroom hasn't been cleaned by me in a couple of weeks. I usually wipe everything down every week, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So soap needed to be refilled, trash needed to be taken out, and everything just needed a good wipe down. My husband does clean like the toilet and wipe down his area quite often. This is kind of the bathroom that he helps out in the most and then the boys are supposed to be helping out in theirs. And so it's really been helpful. I come up here every once in a while and it smells like somebody did some cleaning and I'm always happy whenever the family pitches in. They do a really good job. If you saw in my last video from last week, I deep cleaned some of the faucets in the downstairs bathroom and the boys' bathroom, and I do need to come in here with a brush and give this one a really good cleaning as well. I'm just not able to get it done this week, so I'm just wiping them down. But you'll see in this clip here that I actually scrub underneath that faucet area, and it was gross. There's a lot of black um, specks and then when I go and take my finger and kind of rub it along the top there there's actually black specks that just kind of fall into the sink I don't know if you can really see them clearly but there's some large ones and small ones that just kind of fell into the sink from just doing that and not even a lot of scrubbing I apologize for the lighting in this little clip here. As you can see, the sun was kind of just coming in and out of the window. Usually my master bedroom and bathroom are really bright. It's actually amazing for filming just because there's so much sunlight that pours in from all of the windows. But that particular moment of the day, for whatever reason, the sun just disappeared for a second and the lighting changed a bit. My hair is still a little wet from the shower in case you were wondering. I know it looks pretty greasy, but I promise I just got out of the shower. I was rushing pretty much everything from self-care to cleaning this week. We've had him for seven days, like I said, and I have not been getting a whole lot of sleep. My husband takes the first little bit of the shift. I go to bed a little earlier than I normally do. And then I've been waking up in the middle of the night and waking up really early in the morning. I'm a morning person and I usually like waking up in the morning, but six o'clock is my perfect time to wake up. That allows me to hang out with my family and not be too tired at night. But the puppy is determined to wake up anywhere from 2.30 in the morning till about 5.30 in the morning. And he, when he is up, he is bouncing. He is excited and wants to play. And it, we've tried keeping him up really late at night and getting energy out. And we've tried all sorts of things. And so far, 
He is a morning person. I remember that with having babies. Um, I remember both of my kids would wake up so early in the morning. And luckily, I was already a morning person. But the puppy's waking up a little too early, in my opinion. I'm not a huge fan of waking up any earlier than 5. I can even do 5 long term. The reason I don't wake up at 5 is because my husband likes to stay up late at night. And I want to join him. So, and then also we just have family movie nights, people over, and I don't want to be crashing on the couch by 8 p.m. So I do prefer six o'clock in the morning. That's just my preference. Here I've moved on to getting the laundry. I ended up just putting it next to my bedroom door because our puppy is taking a nap in the bedroom right now. So I couldn't go in there and fold it, but I did want to remind myself that I needed to take care of that later today. Now we're downstairs and we're gonna quickly put away everything. As you can see, I had dishes left out. I hadn't gotten around to them. Usually I've been, instead of being able to clean all throughout the day, I'm spending a lot of time training and playing with the puppy and it's nice when my husband is home to take turns but sometimes he works really long shifts and so I'm by myself and with my my youngest son at home I'm not doing a whole lot of cleaning and so I take the one or two naps that I get that are longer the puppy does take some pretty good naps luckily and I use those to just try to get as much done as I possibly can I didn't end up filming me cleaning the downstairs floors. I really wanted to, but by then he had woken up and I had to have my husband take him into another room and play with him outside so that I could do the floors and I didn't think I'd have enough time to film it. We ended up clearing off the island and I'm just finishing up some dishes. The only thing left on the island that I didn't clean up is actually just a baby monitor. It's plugged in um, to an outlet. I'm using that so that I can listen for the puppy. He is in our bedroom. It's just the room that's closest to us when we're sleeping and we, we just like that he's close to us. We want to be there and just help his transition so he's not anxious in any way. Um, so I ended up getting a very cheap baby monitor and whenever he starts to wake up and I hear like the doors rattling or maybe the first sign of a whine, I like to just hear that so that I can go up there before he gets too anxious or worked up and that way we can just have better time together where he's, you know, focused and excited instead of starting out nervous. Even though I am pretty tired right now, um, I am very much enjoying having a puppy and watching my kids get excited to see him every day. I've heard, oh my gosh, he's so cute so many times in the past few days. And my youngest is the one who's especially taken with him. Mac is very into dogs, but Luke, my youngest, has been wanting an animal for so long. And he loves loves this puppy so much. He just wants him to be his best friend and I can't wait for the day that the puppy is settled down and trained enough that he can just kind of roam around the house freely and play with my youngest son. I'd also love a walking companion. 
We love to go on walks in our family. Not as many hikes as we used to, but we do love going on walks. We've got sidewalk all over our neighborhoods, and so we head out our front door and just go on walks. My kids do okay on walks. They complain a little bit, but you know, they they like riding their bikes a whole lot more. And so it would be really nice to have a walking buddy since my kids prefer bikes and I don't really want to force them to walk. So we do still take a lot of family walks, but they're pretty short and it would be nice to be able to walk with a dog for long periods of time. We're going to finish up here in the kitchen, taking it one counter at a time, move on to the dining room table, and then to the living room at the very end. We're not going to be doing a whole lot of deep cleaning today. We've done some deep cleaning in the past few videos, so if you do need more deep cleaning motivation, definitely go check out these. This is a true house reset. When you're limited on time, your house has gotten away from you, and you just need to put it back together. I finished wiping down the kitchen and dining room table with an all-purpose Mrs. Meyer spray. It was just a three-pack I found at Costco, and the label was coming off, so I just ripped it off. Now we're going to move on to this little catch-all space, and this is the area where everyone in the house just throws things when they don't know where they go or they're in a rush. It's kind of like people's entryway tables. This is kind of our entryway table. That's kind of what it's used for. It's our catch-all space. I usually throw things that I don't really want to put away on the stairs. That's just my preference. I like to put things on the stairs so people in the house can carry them up. Not that very many people in the house do carry them up, but someday, hopefully, they'll carry things up more often. This is our Alexa, and it's really cool. I love it a lot, and I love that you can save your favorite photos and just have them play in the background. And our kids love looking at memories on that thing. It's so much fun to just constantly see pictures rotating. And then it does have our shared calendar. It also has to-do list, grocery list. So it's really cool that the whole family can share in that. Now we've moved on to wiping down these sliding doors. I haven't done this in a little while and with going in and out of the house so many times a day and tracking in all sorts of stuff, these windows have definitely gotten pretty gross. I tried to get a close up with the camera and ended up not being able to really show all of the nose prints and hand prints on them. And I really wanted to get that for you, but the sun was not quite cooperating.
there was a smell coming from our mudroom and no matter how many how much cleaning I did it wouldn't go away and so I kind of cleaned out the wicker baskets that our shoes used to be in in this room and found a lot of dirt I tried to spray and wipe them down and it ended up not working so I ended up trying out these black plastic bins that I have all over my house from Target I love these things they're wipeable I haven't had any of them break and my kids have them in their playroom and I ended up pulling some of these black bins from my office cube shelf and putting them in my mudroom to see if they'd work and they fit perfectly but because I pulled them from the office I needed a couple more black bins to fill in the ones that I took and so I took these black bins that were in my pantry traded them out with a couple of white ones and now I'm filling in two more white ones for the upper shelves just because I feel like it'll be a little bit easier to contain things. For anyone watching this video, I just want to say thank you for watching and supporting my journey of becoming a YouTube creator and providing cleaning content. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you to those who ended up checking out my Instagram. I know I only have a few videos on there and I did post a couple pictures of our puppy on there and I'm sure you guys will see him in some clips later if you guys are interested. If you're just here for the cleaning content and organizing, I will definitely get back to talking about that um, in the next video and I hope you guys got at least a little bit of cleaning motivation to start your week. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.